Ohayo gozaimasu. Today we're going to be doing a simple FPS guide that is going to help you tremendously when it comes to boosting your FPS in League of Legends, decreasing lags, and making the game overall smoother. This is for season 12. It is currently 9th of June and I didn't sleep. Great. Okay, so before we get into it, I'll show you multiple things that people don't usually show on their FPS guides. We'll be doing everything possibly to gain at least 20 FPS plus. Now, if this guide doesn't work for you, which it definitely should, that suggest upgrading after all league is not a very demanding game even for an older hardware but if your potato cannot run league even after this guide it is seriously a time for upgrade all right let's get right into it okay so first and one of the most important things i want to talk about is discord if you're not using discord you should skip this part however if you are listen closely my child so discord happens to be this awesome platform i love it you love it but when it comes to potato pcs it can be very demanding to have it in the background especially with an Overlay. Now this might sound funny to people with a decent RAM slash CPUs, but I've experienced this, I went through this, it was terrible. Discord was making my game run like shit, honestly. Not just League of Legends, but every single game I've played unless they were older games that my PC would run without a problem. So there are two ways we can fix this. First way is by shutting down Discord completely on our PC and pretty much either have it on the phone if you'd wish to voice chat or text. Or the second way, we can optimize Discord to require less resources from our PC while we play. Let's get onto the desktop and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so first things first, what you wanna do is just simply open Discord. Next up, what you wanna do is go to the user settings. It's this cogwheel right here next to your username and your hashtag number. We wanna go ahead and click there. After that, we're gonna scroll down until we see game overlay and activity settings. What we wanna do is click on game overlay and make sure enable and game overlay is disabled. The reason why I'm saying this is because this option is by default enabled and it will take a decent amount of fps trust me on that one after that you want to click on advanced over here and make sure the hardware acceleration is off as you can see here it says turns on the hardware acceleration which uses your gpu to make discord smoother turn this off if you're experiencing frame drops so turn it off please anyway that's all you can do about that once again if you're having fps issues with any game i'd suggest turning discord off completely and using it on your phone which will give you the best result and for all of you addicts out there that just cannot turn off discord maybe an important e-date or something there is a simple solution that will help out at least 50 percent Alrighty. so next up what we want to do is update our drivers and windows talking about drivers it is mainly the gpu drivers did i forget to mention that all of these tweaks or whatever you want to call them work both on windows 10 and windows 11 that's right if any of you are interested in mac tutorials i happen to have a macbook so just comment down below and we'll make those as well let's get onto the desktop and update our windows and our drivers because that is very important kids first things first we're gonna update our windows the way we update our windows is simply by clicking on the start button going to settings clicking on update and security the first window that will pop up is windows update it's right here on the left bar so just make sure to click it in case it doesn't and click on check for updates and there we go we have one update to download it already downloaded that was pretty fast and now it's going to install and it did and it's simple as that for the bigger updates you might need to restart your pc so do not worry do not get scared if your pc hasn't been updated for a while especially you're going to have to restart your pc after that just make sure to restart your pc and the updates will apply after that what we want to do is update our gpu drivers the way you update your gpu drivers is for example if you have nvidia make sure to download nvidia geforce experience if you have amd make sure to download amd software adrenaline edition that's it so yeah make sure to download that sorry for the background noise my cats are playing with a freaking shopping bag yikes so once you've downloaded nvidia geforce experience i'll make sure to leave down the link in the comment section below for both of the graphics card it should look something like this it's going to be in your bar do not worry this is a very great software if you have geforce card i have a geforce card so i cannot show you the amd way right now but in the future i'll be able to do it so do not worry about that it is pretty simple it's pretty much straightforward it's the same as this kind of just a different interface make sure you open geforce experience don't get too off the topic and click on drivers 
And we already have a driver that's ready to download. I did not really update my GPU drivers. Shame on me. But in case you don't see anything here, make sure to click on check for updates. If there is an available update, it's going to appear down here under available. Make sure to click on download and it's going to start downloading. So we're going to wait for it to download and then you get a first hand experience on how to install this beauty. Once the download is finished, what you want to do is click on custom installation. Say yes, uh, it's going to say preparing to install and we'll make sure to select all the options that we can. Perform a clean installation. This bar is for people that usually do not update their drivers very often. I'd suggest doing this every once in a while. What it means basically is that restores all the settings on your card whether that be amd or uh, nvidia to like default so everything is going to be default even the options you set in uh, the control panel for both of the cards i do not need to do this right now but if you do not update drivers regularly i'd suggest you do it so if you want to do it just yeah click here and click on install while the gpu drivers are installing your screen is going to go black for a second or two maybe twice even do not worry that's normal and also softwares that use your gpu might crash as well but as i said that is completely normal so do not worry about that this is just like a disclaimer or something so as you guys can see here it is finished it is going to say installation has finished you're going to go ahead and close this and now what we are going to do check for updates again just to be sure and it says you have the latest geforce game ready drivers and that's pretty much it now that we've done that what we want to do is go to our nvidia control panel or amd control panel both are the same thing pretty much and we're going to click on adjust image settings with preview and make sure you use the advanced 3d image settings after that, you're going to click on take me there simpler like that, or you can click on manage 3d settings. It is your choice and make sure to copy these settings right here. Now under the power management mode, what you want to do is click on optimal power here and put it to prefer maximum performance. After doing that, you want to scroll down to texture filtering quality. You want to click right there and put it on high performance as well on threaded optimization. Instead of auto, you want to turn it on. You want to click on apply. And that's pretty much it. Don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. There is another very important tip that will help you speed up the game and Windows itself. It is pretty good. What you want to do is click on File Explorer. Right click on this PC or whatever you named your PC and click on Properties. After that, you want to go to Advanced System Settings. This little window will pop up. You see the performance tab all the way up. You want to click on settings right there and you get performance options. I'd like you to copy these settings. These settings are the ones that will save a nice appearance to your windows and also make it a lot faster. However, if you want, you can just click on adjust for best performance that will disable all of these checkboxes, but your windows will look a tad bit uglier. If that doesn't matter to you, go ahead and do it. It will help you out a lot. I promise you, you'll see the changes instantly. And that should be pretty much it when it comes to optimizing your PC. And I <laughs> what? What, what, what? And now finally, let's go ahead and launch League of Legends and check the clan settings as well as the best in-game settings you can have for high performance. So let's go ahead and open League, log in. Once we've opened League, we want to click on this cogwheel right here. Do not get into the game, just uh, click on this cogwheel on the launcher. Um, window size doesn't matter, but enable low spec mode. It's going to f be the first thing that pops up, so make sure to enable that. Right underneath low spec mode, you'll see close client during the game. Basically, what you want to do is click on always. As you can see, this client will close automatically during games. So this will help provide an optimized client experience. So there you go. Just uh, make sure you optimize your client experience. Woo. After that, what you want to do is click on done. Let's go ahead and go into the practice tool and change our settings in game. And now that we are in the game, what you want to do is press escape and go to video. Here we have resolution. Uh, this is kind of important. So make sure to lower it if 1080p is too laggy, but let's just keep it at 1080p for a test because that's the optimal resolution we want. Window mode, make sure it's full screen. This is pretty important. You don't want it borderless. Trust me, it's, it's garbage or windowed even worse full screen is the most optimized one so keep it full screen especially if you have like 144 hertz monitor and stuff like that so graphics what you want to do is character quality put it on low to medium if it's really bad then very low whatever environment quality make sure it's very low this won't affect anything effects quality this one is important this eats fps like hell so make sure it's very low especially 
because of those skins, man. The skins. Oof. Shadow quality off frame rate cap. This depends on your monitor, of course. If you have 60 hertz monitor, you can put it on like 80 or 120. Won't matter. If you have 144 or 240 hertz, put it on uncapped. Doesn't matter. Anti-alias fucking dog anti-aliasing make sure this is off as well uh it will lower the performance for sure wait for vertical sync make sure it's off as well also i forgot to say hide eye candy just hide it it's it's good it's just more bullshit effects that you don't need after that you want to press ok and as you can see not all the changes applied the environment still looks the same so what we need to do is restart the game and the settings will finally apply that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helped you out more to come for more games and most importantly more league videos especially about gold 4 it's an interesting insane impossible topic that i want to talk to you guys about this elo is dog shit and it's terrible, and I hate it, and I'll talk about it. So yeah, much love, hope it helped you out, and peace out.